want to bless me. All right, ultimate guide right now. So all the documents and then the actual vlog will be in two minutes. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Yay! All right, so I was in South Korea recently in July for my birthday. My birthday's in July 16th. So I was there for like that week period. So basically I'm just gonna go over like, you know, why Korea, or actually I already explained it, but I'm gonna go talk about the documents that I used that were helpful that you guys can you probably use and then go through the actual vlog. And then lastly, overall thoughts after the end of the vlog like towards the end so here's some documents i'm kind of like showing you guys just a list of things that i brought to the trip that were very helpful you guys can pause the video and look at it uh, but i stress buying an adapter a uh, yeah, type c adapter and then a sim card or a wi-fi pod i use a wi-fi pod and obviously some spending money and things of that nature make sure you get your key kita uh your Korean visa you don't have to but it's very helpful to just bypass all those like security measures or whatever they have at the airport it just makes it makes your life easier it wasn't that expensive I also have kind of the itinerary document of all the things I did it's kind of blurry but if you guys need to see an actual document I could drop the link so you guys can see it and then <laughs> this is my spending money all right so day zero basically um we are in lax um me and my sisters we live in la so basically we are you know we woke up early in the morning i think like 10 a.m you can see on the screen and we're getting a ride through the airport Air lax is not nothing new to me i've been here a couple times for personal travels and yeah we basically get on the plane tsa is always an issue but it was pretty calm it wasn't that bad so there was no issues here. Um, it's not like a crying baby, but <laughs> what's an airplane flight without a crying baby, right? <laughs> so, all right. LA to Hawaii. Oh yeah, so I don't know if you guys noticed, um, our flight has a Hawaii uh, layover because uh, we took Hawaiian Airlines. So yeah. The menu for the items being sold on our snack cart are on page 146 in your Hana Hope magazine, located seat pocket ahead of you. Feel free to take that magazine with you when you leave us today. It's a gift from Hawaiian Airlines. Most of the... We in Hawaii. Yes. First time in Hawaii. Literally so tired. Oops, sorry. My nails are so long. In Oh yeah, guys, drink some water because stay hydrated. It was helping me get through the flight and the travel and everything. So, and they also fed us too at our um, airline, and we had, it was actually pretty good food. It was cute because it was like Korean food since we're going to Korea or like Korean like food. The flight was so long; it was like what eight hours, ten hours, something like that. And I'm getting nervous here because this is like my first time leaving um, the country of the USA or leaving out the country in general for me. So yeah, I've been wanting to go to Korea for so long. Oh, so this is very important. Grab a, an arrival card. Basically, uh, a flight attendant will walk past you and tell you, um, like ask you a bunch of questions and she's going to hand you a arrival card more than likely. So just take that and do it. Uh, I made the mistake of not taking it on the plane, so we had to sign the arrival card when we landed, as you can see here. So it just took a little longer, but yeah. And make sure your Q code is ready. Uh, you're supposed to do that, I think, within three days. Um, so it's just like an app. You just that way they could check um, if you're out healthy and all that stuff. And then also, if you buy anything in Korea. I think you can use like your passport to get a discount for foreigners, something like that. But anyway, anyways, we are at the subway from Incheon. 
we landed in Incheon Airport and we about to go to Hongdae because we was not trying to pay for the taxi because we had some scammers already trying to scam us, trying to say taxi, taxi, like no, we don't want to be in your taxi. And then, yeah, this is the subway car that we bought. It's a one-way ticket, so we, we didn't have the tea money, but get the tea money at the airport because we was having trouble getting through the, these things right here, and it kept beeping on us because we didn't have a tea money car, and it was embarrassing, but luckily a local helped us, so yeah. You just got to pass through it with confidence. It will work. It, like At first, it doesn't work, but you just got to go through it. But anyways, we in Hongdae, so you can see... I'm so happy to arrive and we're at the lobby. So we checked in at the Rise uh, Autograph Collection. And then we hit our first convenience store, which is a 7-Eleven. And the guy was so nice. I remember him being so uh, forgiving of like our minimal Korean, but he was super cool. Shout out to him. And the snacks here are cheap. I loved it. And it was like legit quality oh, food, y'all. Then they have all these items here. Oh, they have nice. Where you from that? What, what's this input? Is this you don't know how to take bites. Yeah, as you can see, it's super cheap. Um, I had some bulgogi, sushi, or kimbap, or something like that. But it was really good. And some chips and some Starbucks drink. So anyways, this is the morning of... So after our flight, um, we went and had our convenience food run last night. And then this is the morning after. So I'm waking up. I have those compression socks on that helped me on the flight. So if you can get those on Amazon. Helped with like the blood circulation and not like make you feel like heavy when you get off a flight. And there's my younger sister. I with my two sisters. So if you guys just can get familiar it's i have two sisters with me and that's a the toilet it's a it has a boudet or boudet whatever the one that sprays in your butthole whatever i was not a fan of it i was like oh no but it's for it's for other people but it's not for me the the toilet here the bathroom is was really fancy i, I recommend you guys check your stay here it, it was it's pretty small we had a pretty small room but it fit all three of us all together so it wasn't that bad and this was my outfit that i was gonna wear for the day I think it was pretty conservative, uh, but I don't know. We are getting ready to have some brunch, but basically a little update. Um, we flew in yesterday. Um, we basically got some convenient food store, slept in, and now we're all dressed up. And we're gonna have brunch today. So this is gonna be our first full day today. Well, starting this morning, it'll be our first day here. So. I just give a little update, just cut my hair, a little dress and some boots, um, umbrella. Apparently it's supposed to, it's supposed to rain, so just pre prepping for that. And yeah, we're going to be in Hongdae basically, and then Myeongdong. So again, just showing my outfit. The weather, y'all, is hot. It's very humid. I guess it was monsoon season. You guys will see in a minute when we go outside. Okay, turn and go, turn and go, turn and go. So, yeah, it was raining. I was hot at the same time. I've never experienced anything like this. My body was in shock because, like, how can it rain and how can it be hot at the same time like it was crazy um anyways <laughs> but yeah we're going through that issue and then the smell y'all when i entered korea like i just it, like korea has this smell like it was humid and there's like food everywhere like outside so it just had a thick air like sm food smell in the air i don't explain it but it was very pivotal in my mind i'm still smelling it
But anyways, this is the egg drop. Uh, I recommend y'all go here. It's a little breakfast place, and it's a self-service place, so you, I couldn't use my cash or my wand, but you just pay with the kiosk, and it was my first time, like, using their self-service stuff at the, you know, like, with the food places. It was very interesting because, they, as you can see, there was workers there, but you couldn't really talk to them. I mean, like, you could, you know, but I feel like they were there, they were there just to make the food. Like, in America, I feel like when people are making the food, you could be like, hey, excuse me, I want more ranch. But in Korea, I feel like if you try to talk to them, they would just ignore you. So, it was kind of hard. And, you know, my Korean isn't all that strong. So, like, even if I spoke to Korean to them, I feel like they would just ignore me. So, that was my only thing with, like, those self-service food. But the food was bomb, though. Like, as you can see, I'm about to take a bite. And it's, uh, it was flavorful, it was sweet, like Korean food be like sweet and savory, but like really sweet on the sweeter side. So yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm. All right, so this is the elevator of our hotel. I'm just doing another outfit check. Y'all, the lobby was so nice. Like, yeah. Anyway, so we're going out on the streets of Hongdae. Usually they have busking, I, like I feel like, but since it was raining, I feel like we didn't get a chance to see that. So, very sad. I wanted to see some street performances, but definitely need to go another season <laughs> when it's not raining. Or not raining, I mean. First day in freaking Korea. And it's raining. At least it's not windy, but it's super raining right now. So. All right, so this is one of the first shops that we went to. It was like this jewelry shop. And Hongdae has a lot of places for like little knickknacks and accessories and things like that. So, yeah. The atmosphere was cute. Like, we definitely were feeling the vibes. And then, yeah, this is like another place. I think I can't remember the name of the store, but it was some sort of makeup store that we went to i think it was like the one it's a makeup store that is like everywhere in korea i can't remember the name i'll probably drop it on the screen but yeah it was cute they had nice music and the vibes were there And me and my sisters were just acting up. People was looking at us for sure. All right, so we entered this cafe. We looked it up online, our neighbor. We wanted to check it out because I think we're getting hungry. And yeah, it was cute. It had a little, little like villagey vibes and like forest nature vibes. So we really liked it. And then more street food. I think we're getting some like desserts here. It was so good. Um, hopefully you guys can see. Yep, there you go. Go over there and get get you some food. I'm showing you guys the name. <laughs> oh my gosh! So this was crazy. We got stopped at the subway, and this YouTuber I put his handle on the screen. Came up to us, was like, "Hey, like I see you guys are foreigners. I wanted to see if you guys." experienced any re racism in Korea and we're like oh we just got here you know what I mean but he was like well do you guys want to be in my video I'm like sure uh, but I didn't feel comfortable but my youngest sister as you can see was like oh, yeah, yeah. But, so you know today's question is are Koreans racist <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, his dance was wild. Let him cook, though. <laughs> Okay, but I'm uh, not gonna lie, uh, when I asked him, I was like, oh, what made you interested in this kind of topic? Like, why do you want to learn about it? He's just like, oh, um, I started my YouTube channel for the views. Um, I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm gonna let y'all think what y'all think about that. But anyways, uh, we entered Myung Dong. Um, we heard a lot of good, cool things about Myeongdong, especially the food, so we did not hesitate to go. It was a lot of walking, a lot of people, a lot more foreigners here too, which is what I liked. It made me feel like, I don't know, when I saw a foreigner, I felt like safe. Not safe, but I felt like, okay, like, I don't stand out. I don't know. It just feels, it's just so interesting to go to another country and like, I know, it's like more homogenous, so. I don't know, I'm just not used to it, but yeah. And then we had this Ajima like stop us and was like, come to our restaurant, come to my restaurant. And I felt bad and I was like, okay. So <laughs> we went in and had some of her food. It was actually pretty good, it wasn't that bad. The service is kind of interesting. I, we were kind of like, how do we order? But yeah, day two, you know, it's all about mistakes. You know, we're gonna look crazy ordering food because we just, we're not used to Korea, but nonetheless we tried so this is my outfit it might not be the most conservative outfit but i'm sorry i'm just unapologetically me um i don't know <laughs> i don't know what else to say i liked my outfit so hopefully other people like it too so anyways we're going to Gangnam. um Kangnam being like the plastic surgery capital city of the world or whatever. Um, my sister's wanting to get some Botox and fillers. I was going to get the body in mode, um, which was like going to burn my fat like on my stomach. But the consultant or the lady we talked to was saying that I had to go there more than once to like see results and I was like oh well we're only here on vacation so she was like yeah getting it one time you wouldn't notice a difference so I ended up not getting it which is fine because it saved me a lot of money because I ended up needing a lot of my money throughout this trip because I was spending a lot so yeah, this is what condom looks like uh, so we're going to the Muse clinic that's the name of the clinic we're going to And the service was really nice. Everyone was really nice. Um, yeah. So yeah, if you're trying to get some work done, I definitely, I definitely recommend if you're trying to get some work done. Um, I think it was kind of hard um, navigating it like the people in the front desk didn't really speak too much English but the person who like we were talking to as you can see this lady she like spoke really good English like the clinician I don't even know her official name or role but her English was really nice and she helped us a lot Anyway, so we got the Coex Whoa, Mall. That building is huge. A We've really popular made it mall. To Coex Mall. It was a really busy mall. A lot of families, uh, a lot of foreigners, which was cool. A lot of good, great food. They had like pizza. They had like American food. It kind of reminded me of the mall back at home. Like it looked like a mall, felt like a mall. So definitely was impressed. And this pizza was bomb, this pizza place we went to. And then we went to the famous Starfield Library.
it was a cute little library I liked it I think they had some cake that we had and then we went to this little department st store or clothing store uh yeah it's not really my style but I like the vibe of the store the decorations and the atmosphere and there's my outfit again my fan my mini fan it was super hot waiting for the are you ready for the water bomb festival Tell the camera, tell my YouTube family how you feel about Korea so far. What do you have to say about Desi and K-pop? I want a professional vlog. <laughs> Anyways, my sister being a hater. But yeah, I was sweating like crazy. Like I'm inside a building and I'm sweating. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. This weather was beyond me. Anyway, so we ended up going to a temple, which I was super excited because it always looked so pretty when I seen it on TikTok and stuff. And stuff. So, yeah, this is us going to the temple. It was like literally right next to the Coex Mall, so it was very convenient for us. And yeah, there it is. I wish I had more video clips of it, but I don't think I was able to find the clips. So anyways, we are entering back to home day and we end up at this place called Rachel's Kitchen, which had really nice souffles. It was getting, it's, as you can see, it's kind of later in the night. So not a lot of people, so, you know, it wasn't busy. And this is the souffle we got. We got it to go. And then this chicken spot was in Hongdae. I'm going to talk about it in the end of the video, but it's the one Gordon Ramsay approved. So yeah, that was super bomb. I actually recommend that. Anyway, so we're going clubbing tonight. And I pulled a couple of flyers from Instagram. So I believe, I don't know what this one was for. Um, but we pulled a couple flyers. We're just looking through like, okay, what places should we go to? What places is popping? Like what's Instagram saying? You know, we're trying to find a club to go to. And so we ended up going to take a taxi. And this is what the taxi looks like. I honestly prefer taxis. Like I'm a taxi girl. I know it's pricey, but subways are crazy. All right, subway is so intense. Anyways, we're going to eat Taiwan and we ended up picking club soap because there was like an event going on. So as you can see, it's really loud. <laughs> and Ite Wan was, it was pretty popping. I was, I was shocked. I was like, we outside tonight. So this was just another club we end up going, which is in Gangnam. Um, it's a place called Exit Seoul. At first, they were like talking about oh, foreign, oh, these two foreigners or three foreigners are coming. Like the guy in the front was talking about us, and I was like, "Are you not letting foreigners in?" But he ended up letting us in. Uh, I was scared though, because I heard so much about like you know whether they're gonna let people in or not. But this was honestly the best club. It was better than Soap to me, in my opinion. Yeah, as you can see, I am turning up. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so this is the next day. 
and um yeah we went to get some food it was like this halal spot in home day i don't know the name i'm sorry but maybe by the video you guys can probably tell but it was really good oh my gosh and my sister got some dessert from like another spot next door but yeah this was another self-service um food spot so if you guys want to go here please go i recommend 10 out of 10 yeah, after a long club night, we just wanted to eat some food. All right, guys. So this is water bomb time. Um, this was uh, yeah, we're going to in or not in, yeah, Inchon. This water bomb was in Inchon, and we took a taxi there because we had on bikinis. Oh, water? 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 Oh, wait, it was some glasses. Just, 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 just go wrong. Uh, and you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Oh my. Yeah, that was so fun. I actually dropped um, some money on the floor when I was paying. I dropped like a hundred dollars on the floor, and this lady picked it up. And I was like, "Uh-uh, that's mine." Um, <laughs> but anyways, we're, we're about to get it. So you can see a little bit of the water bomb. I'm getting excited. At first, I was like, "I don't think we're at the right spot," but we had to like walk a little bit down, and we're like, "Okay." I see water guns and bikinis, so I'm like, "Okay, I think we're getting close." And we we got in, we um, checked in, and all that stuff. I think tickets were like 60 to 80 dollars i don't remember and we were on team it was team orange and team mint i think we're on team mint um don't quote me i don't know but yeah <laughs> Lineup was looking great. We just missed Coogie, but I was excited for everyone else. So you guys will see in a second, but yeah. My girl Jesse. I heart Jesse, Yeah, I'm a puppet. Yeah. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Yeah. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop it, pop it, pop it
Y'all, I was getting soaked in the front. Like, I want, I love my artists, but I, my lashes came off. I was like, oh, oh, I gotta go. Like, you get soaked. It, I'm telling y'all, like, I was like, oh, I can endure it. No, 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 no. We moved to the back. But I still had a good time, or at least I tried to. Gray is so fine. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and then Loco comes out. Loco is fine. He fine in person. Loco and Gray were fine in person. And Blase was fine. Shoot, they can hit my line. Okay. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Tattoos. So it's a little update, and this is the hotel lobby. Period. Okay. Yes, it's my birthday. I turned 25. 25 years young. Okay. Um. And this is a little pink outfit I have, not gonna lie. I got a lot of stares. This is probably the most stares that I received. I don't know because it was all pink. But we was at the BB House Cafe, which I do recommend, 10 out of 10, recommend. And so this is how I look at from the outside. Um, it's located in Ilsan, um, which was like, I don't know if it's like, they see a lot of foreigners in this area, but a lot of families was looking at me because it was like, you know, a lot of kids were there. And this one baby looked at me 
this Korean baby like walks up to me, points at me, looks at me, and the dad was like, I'm so sorry. She just wants to say hi. And I was like, oh, it's okay. Like, I thought that was so cute that the, you know, the baby was curious, but yeah. And they had some great drinks, they had some great food. Uh, it was, it was really good. I had like pastas and shrimp and steak and all kinds of good stuff. And the background is pretty for a photo shoot. So this is where I took my photo shoot. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Because that's where I post all my pictures. As you can see, yeah, you, you can even see like the background, like it was, yeah, it was nice. The desserts are popping, yeah. pastries, like they had everything. It's so cool. So this is a look at their menu. Even if her name was Nelly Nye. Now we're getting for a wild wild dream. I dropped the Addy so y'all can go support the boys. Wild Wild Dream, y'all, was the best thing that ever happened. I got this recommended for, through TikTok. And it was essentially like a magic mic show. We were kind of running late. We are there like 10, 15 minutes late. It was in a 75-minute show. But we got we got to watch a good chunk of it. So this is us entering the place. Um, yeah. uh, this is after the show. Um, we weren't allowed to film the actual show. So, oh, super sad. Yeah, they were—they was cute. The performance was performancing. Uh, they had a bed there. I mean, I don't know what they were trying to insinuate, or I don't know the word, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was my type of show, my type of vibe. You feel me? Okay. Um, yeah. So this is some of the pictures I took. Um, of the little like lobby they had. It was a cute little setup, like the purple theme. Like, I really liked it a lot. I wish they chose me for the lap dance and or like the, cause they would pick girls from like the seating, or the seats. I don't know because I was like not skinny. They didn't pick me, but. I don't know because they like had like cared you and stuff whatever but I'm going off topic she anyways so it's, it's tattoo time I was gonna get well I got matching tattoos with my sisters um yeah and yeah I hit up my man he's over there in the corner he was really nice he didn't speak a lot of English but he was super friendly and I would try to speak the most Korean to him and he kind of understood me I'm not gonna lie so I got my I think my back or you guys will see better pictures but i got tattooed on my back my younger sister got one on her stomach right there you see and then the middle child her she got one on her arm oh this is my tattoo that i got the gonju the two green letters on top i got that like last year or two years ago i have a video on my youtube you guys can check that out but he essentially did the rose tattoo like the rose design so this is day five this is the last day we're packing up um to meet the checkout time okay she was i don't know what she was talking about so we're doing some last minute shopping um basically i regret doing this last minute shopping because you guys will see. But anyways, there was a lot of little knickknacks this is in Hongdae. We were like shopping around our hotel, essentially. Um, just trying to get some stuff. I got like a hair, hair accessories, like claw clips and hair clips and things like that. Nothing too crazy. Anyways, so we departed at 9.15 p.m. It looks like. But let me tell you the tea and the story time because it was crazy. Let me cook. All right, so this picture 
It literally looks like the subway scene that we encountered. We were trying to get from Hongdae to Incheon. And let me tell you, when I lost my sisters at the subway, I lost my sisters. I'm holding on to their life. Barely gone to the subway train. Trying to make the time to depart from Korea. We were like about to miss our flight. I, I barely make it Why in. Why yelling at him though? People are touching yelling. me. This is my yelling. energy right now. Yelling. Why the fuck is you yelling at I'm me? on this vibe right now. Because people are on top of me. <laughs> so tight in the <laughs> subway. And then it finally clears out, and I'm trying to find my sister. I'm holding two suitcases next to me, and I have a big old backpack, and I have my umbrella. I'm going up and down the subway. I don't see my sisters. Like, when I try to get into the subway, I think and so. then... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get into the subway. Open my backpack... Up. Had a lot to say. My backpack got closed in. And then Bro, I finally get into the airport. I finally see my sisters. And this is how I feel when I see my sisters when I got to the airport. Oh. So yeah, I was trying to fight my sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I almost lost you at the airport. Keep your head up. Stop yeah. her. Stop her. Yeah. Exactly. But apparently they was in the subway uh before me or before me. So they missed the one that I got on. But we're running through the airport. So this is me like essentially running through the airport trying to make it to the flight. But we, we eventually got to the flight as you can see. And I'm watching Family Guy because that's how I survived these 10 hour flights. Uh, <laughs> but yes, we our board time was like 8.30. We were there like 8.40 p.m. It was crazy, but we got in. TSA was crazy, but we got in. Oh, yeah. And we in Hawaii. We we made it to Hawaii, our layover stop. So I just I dressed up, got my yellow dress on, we had some Hawaiian food. And yeah, essentially our flight from Hawaii departs at 9.20. And then we arrived to LA. Yay! 5.45 a.m. We were tired. So so overall thoughts. Um we get closer to the mic. So, so overall thoughts. So, here's some apps first to recommend. We we were use Kakao to obviously everyone knows Kakao. Use that to communicate. We use Kakao Maps. Um, you can use Neighbor Map. I actually liked Google Maps. I wasn't opposed to it. It helped direction wise, but um, Kakao Map and Neighbor Map is gonna be the most accurate. But Google Maps wasn't that bad. Kakao Taxi was great. I love Kakao Taxi. I'm a taxi girl. Subways give me anxiety. It's a lot of people and using the beeper or the the, the T money and trying to beep through the thing through the subway exit. It was crazy. Like it's embarrassing. Kluk, use it to rent my Wi-Fi pod and to rent the Wild Wild Dream tickets. Papago for live translating. I didn't use it, but my sisters used it. And then Buka Check. As you can see, Buka check. I used that to check how much money I had on my team money card. So that was very helpful. Um, I don't know about the other apps there, but yeah. You guys can take a picture, screenshot, take a look at, you know, the apps. Okay, so this was the chicken place I was talking about that I recommend. Super good. I don't know the name. I think it's on the screen, but anyways. What else I have to say? So over overall thoughts. Let me get my notes out. Um, so yeah, I mean, honestly, um, all the places I recommend, I said in the vlog, I recommend, um, uh, did I experience any racism? Not really. Uh, I just feel like people stared, but it was more out of curiosity. It wasn't like animosity or like a white in my country. Like it was more like, oh, like there's some black girls, you know, but it, overall, like it was, it was cool. Like everyone was so nice and so friendly pros of going to, to Korea for me it was cheap food foreigner friendly um yes and no I feel like if you knew your basic you know hello thank you like you were good to go obviously like I think you still would need some help navigating but that's where you know nice people come in and help you so when people are like oh yeah you can survive Korea without knowing any English or knowing any Korean I'm like um uh, Yes and no, honestly. Even with like home day, like I still found it hard a little bit. So I'll just keep in mind of that. Just my personal experience. Maybe if you lived in Korea for a long time and you were a foreigner, like I get that. But if you were just brand new, never traveled, like it's a whole different game. I already talked about the, about the apps. Cons, um, T money using it was like confusing. Like I don't know, I had a hard time. It kept like beeping on me when I used it in the subway. Um, 
And I had enough money in my car, so I don't know why. But anyways, the weather was crazy. I'm definitely going to go on another season because I was having a tough time. It was hot and raining, and I didn't like that. Transportation, uh, I'm anti-subway. I'm honestly pro-taxi. I don't care that it's expensive. I don't like people staring at me. I don't like people touching up on me. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to take more taxis next time when I'm there. Um, what would I change? Uh, what would I do next time? Um, yeah, I want to stay there. I want to go there longer because we're only there five days and we went, it went by really fast and we want to do so much more clubbing, especially home day clubbing. Like we want to do home day clubbing, like NB2 and like the other hot spots, and we just missed out. So we're definitely doing that more days and yeah, I'll just take more taxis because personally it was just in and out. The taxi drivers were nice for me and then beware of those taxi scams and the airport because they try to scam me. They were standing next to me trying to help me and I'm like, no, I don't need help. So, um, yeah, I did run into, like, a little scamming thing in the airport, but, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, I know I was, like, scrambling through it or rambling through it. Uh, if there's any, like, specific questions, um, items or documents or things you want to look at more or, like, things to bring or what I used or what you need, passport, whatever, any of those questions, please comment down below. And on top of that, what are you doing? Watch my other videos. <laughs> I have more videos that need more love, that they're funny. <laughs> I put so much time editing these videos. I'm sweating in my room right now of how much blood, sweat, and tears I put into my videos. They're good quality videos. Please watch them. <laughs> um, but anyways, I love you guys. I got cut off. Be true, be you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.